Good afternoon and welcome to Coffee with Mike. We're still open. It's week seven of the quarantine. Neiman Marcus has gone bankrupt. Bloomingdale's has closed all their stores. 30 million people are unemployed, but the Vern Gallery is still open, at least on the internet. And everyone who works with me is still employed. During the last few weeks, I've been looking through my dad's bookshelves and reading some of the books that he read many years ago. The book I found on the bookshelves was about a cowboy, vaudeville, and silent movie star named Will Rogers. It's called Will Rogers, The Man in His Times. Will Rogers was known for his dry humor and many quotes. He said, anybody can open a theater. He says the hard thing is keeping it open. Today, I'm gonna show you five artists, some who are famous and some who may become famous. Before I do, I'm gonna take you to the backyard where I dreamed of pitching for the Cleveland Indians and played strikeout with my friends. I didn't make it, but I never forgot the dream and I passed it on to my kids, Brian and Kevin, who played baseball in college and made my dream come true. So let's go to the backyard. It's a little rainy today, so we'll do this quickly. So I do this for hours with my friends back here. Sometimes we'd hit and there, there'd be a, a chalk plate drawn on the garage. You'd warm up, you'd pretend you're one of the best pitchers in the history of Major League Baseball. And one more, and just remember that sound. Remember that sound that the neighbors would hear all night long. So let's go back inside. I'm going to show you a few of the artists that I've picked out for today. Can you imagine hearing this banging for hours, sometimes from four to nine at night? The neighbors must have been ready to kill my parents, pray that my family would move. We didn't have iPhones, there wasn't much on TV, so every kid in the neighborhood was banging some kind of ball, or playing their trumpet, or their sister was singing the sound of music in the living room poorly throughout the neighborhood every night from four to nine. I still miss that sound but the dreams never die. So, let's look at a few of these artists and see if their dreams come true. This first work is called Kiyomachi Kyoto. It is by an early contemporary Japanese printmaker named Kiyoshi Saito, who worked during a, a print movement called Susaku Hanga, where the artist did everything from start to finish. He started as a sign painter and rose to become one of the most important printmakers of his time. His prints date from the 1930s to the 1970s. The next artist is Gen Yamanaka. Gen Yamanaka is a children's book writer. His woodblock prints are full of charming shapes and magical childhood memories. This is called Memory of Stars. The next artist is the only 100% Cleveland artist in the collection. His name is Timothy Callahan. And this is a painting called Cheap Tequila Sunrise. He does these wonderful paintings of places in Cleveland where the everyday guy works or visits that many of us pass by without noticing. This is what Tim said about this painting. Cheap Tequila Sunrise is one of the second oldest bars in Cleveland. 
It was originally called Germans, run by a warm-hearted old lady named Mitzi, who in between shots shared stories of her beloved Cleveland Indians baseball team in the early 1900s. It was a speakeasy during Prohibition, and Mitzi was no fan of Elliot Ness. Around 2006, it was voted one of the top 10 dive bars in the world. Yuko Kimura won the Agnes Gund Award. Her works are all one of a kind. She was born in Oakland, California and grew up in Tokyo where her father was in charge of Snoopy. She has potentially 10 museum shows coming up in the next two years. Her work is about the concept Wabi Sabi the beauty of imperfection. This one-of-a-kind etching, paperwork, antique book page, and collage is called Moss Shiwa Shiwa. Shiwa Shiwa means wrinkle, wrinkle. The last artist is an artist named Matt Brown. Matt Brown came to my gallery about five years ago. He told me he was a carpenter and he was learning how to do traditional woodblock prints mainly of the northeastern United States. And it was around lunchtime, and I asked him if he wanted to have lunch in Little Italy where the gallery is located, and he gets a phone call right before we're going to get lunch, and uh, he says, Michael, I have to take this phone call from Harvard. After he finishes the phone call, I said, you know, I'm just curious, you know, you told me you were a carpenter, why are you taking a phone call from Harvard? He said, well, he said, uh, he says, I went to Harvard, he says, I'm on the board there. Those are the five artists that I'm going to show you today. In the case of all of these artists, and many artists all over the world, they are very modest about their skills. My dad, too, was a very modest guy, but he was the best in the world at what he did. I've been watching The Last Dance on ESPN about Michael Jordan, the greatest basketball player ever. He said, I've missed more than, than 9,000 shots in my career. I've lost almost 300 games, 26 times. I've been trusted to take the game-winning shot and missed. I've failed over and over and over and over again in my life. And that is why I succeed. Will Rogers never forgot the secret he learned from his friend, Texas Jack. He said, get off while the audience still wants more. So here is the shot of the day. Michael Jordan would, would go like this, come to the top of the key, look, shoot, and he always made it. Keep working hard, do what is right, and never give up. See you next week, and that's Coffee with Mike.